What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will be discovering the legend of the funhouse, an absolutely awesome location that I can't wait to show you guys. We will also be discussing and piecing together the story of this location at the end of the video, so make sure you check that out as well. It's located just here on the map, north from Nuka Town in Kiddy Kingdom. Right in the centre you will find the funhouse. And make sure you bring along a hazmat suit or some power armor with you because the whole place is completely irradiated with gas. But once you do arrive, head on inside the location and let's get into it. So, here we are within the bowels of the funhouse. Welcome boys and girls to the funhouse! Chained on the other side. And aren't we having fun? So this can be quite a maze, this section. Oh bloody hell, I thought that lady was a ghoul there. And do take care for this oil on the floor here, because if you shoot it, it will set everything on fire, apart from you, as long as you're not standing in it. But it does help take out a few of the enemies in this area. But it's relatively easy to navigate through here, even though it looks like it could be quite confusing. And what does kind of freak me out a bit is the fact that whoever's done this has gone ahead and painted all the ghouls that are within this maze. Which is just so creepy. Why you would paint ghouls fluorescent colours, I have no idea. There's a ammo box here as well, so make sure you... I'm really excited to uncover the story behind Kitty Kingdom with you guys. I think I'll be doing a big lore video on it at some point. So be sure to subscribe for that if you're not already. There is a dead raider, who you can also loot because he's usually got some ammo and caps on him. And do take care because there are quite a few traps here, but we got rid of most of them with the fire perk. I mean the fire effect we just used with all the oil. When we set that off, it blew up most of the traps for us. But basically we're just going to come out here and this is the maze over now. So we can go out this door here. And we have a conveyor belt that's moving towards us. So you're going to have to sort of jump down this bit to get past it. Oh! Okay! And it looks like that creepy guy there is the person who's tormenting us. But we do not know who that might be yet. So once we oh, got off this conveyor belt, we are on to the next assault course which is almost as wacky as the last one. We've got to kind of time this correctly now. Let's jump on here. Oh, well, we've got to wait for it to come round. Here we go. This one moves a lot slower. Okay, so... Warning, Funhouse may cause motion sickness. Do not vomit in walkways. I don't think they're lying about that either. But let's check out this door first because it's kind of like a shortcut we can open up. It's not that significant, but I might as well just do it to show you it's there. And that's basically a shortcut back to this conveyor belt here. He's still standing up there. Don't know what he's doing, though. So, this is a bit of a maze, this section, and I'm going to guide you through it. But there is a terminal here, and if you hack this terminal, sweet, you can go set reduce nausea mode on but we're not going to do that because I'm fucking hardcore. Instead we're going to go for it, go straight on and then take the last tunnel on the right. The and then we're going to go straight on again down die. here and there's actually a unique magazine here called SCAV. Nice. This gives us plus 10% to our hand to hand weapon damage which is obviously really good. So we're going to grab that and if you want a guide on where to find the rest of those do check out the link in the description. Okay so we're going to come out of here and now we're going to go right down this tunnel. So go straight on and then we're going to go right again and you can go down this tunnel. So now we should be in this room like this with all these weird swirly things. 
And don't worry, you've not missed anything if you've followed this video. But we're going to head straight on. And now if you look carefully, and this is probably going to make you feel sick if I go too close, but there is a hole on either side of the tunnel. And if you fall through that hole, it makes you drop into irradiated water. So make sure you don't fall through those holes, otherwise you have to do this whole assault course again. So we are going to wait for this one to go past us and we're going to start walking past here and just keep walking left and then we'll go straight on again and we can get past... Oh shit, I forgot about these ghouls. Take this guy out. Ah! <laughs> you just pass through that like chaotic drunken mess and then you finally get to the end and you get tapped by ghouls. Painted ghouls, nonetheless. This one's like a weird green colour. Oh god, they look terrible, don't they? This room is really interesting. So, the exit's just down here. Oh god, hello. Ah! I thought that was a ghoul. This raider has just been so befuddled about which way was up. He's actually killed himself, basically. <laughs> He's just died here. Obviously thought that the way, that was the way that was up. But this room doesn't work very well. Like, if you, if you stand here, that is the way you're going over there. But if you, like, sort of go in here, like, spin around a bit, like, a few times, and then you, like, try and sort of find your way, it can be quite confusing... There's even an outdoor section here. Like, which way is up and which way is down. Like, it's really disorientated. But there's, like, rather interestingly, I don't know how you get up there, but there is a door on the ceiling here. And I'm just going to use console commands to show you this. So, obviously, there's a grenade up there. But if you open that door, loads of caps fall out. And there's also a Nuka Cola Quantum up there. I don't know how you open the door without activating that though, because you can't like really jump up there. Or can you? No, I don't think you can. So yeah, anyway, we're going out this way. And this is the next room, which is spinning in a circle. And lots of doors lead onto this room. So what I suggest you do is you just sit in this one section and shoot all these ghouls. The door's going to keep closing, which is kind of annoying, but it's much easier to take them out using this method. Oh shit, hello. Oh my god, he jumped through the bloody door. Did not expect that at all, guys. If you're wondering what weapon I'm using, I'll leave a link on how you can get it down in the description, because it's one of the best weapons in the game for sure. Especially against really tanky enemies like charred ghouls. Okay, so all these enemies so far are dead. The next door across is a dead end. I'm going to show you all these doors because there's some interesting stuff in there. This is a hidden secret that you can... Oh god, there's bloody mist in here. Getting radiation damage there. But this is basically uh, part of a quest line that you need to activate these little symbols. And if you go through here, once I open the bloody door, there is a massive Nuka K ticket roll. It only has 850 tickets for me, but sometimes you can get a thousand out of it. If you actually save the game beforehand, that's really weird, a baby mannequin. If you save the game before you pick up those ticket rolls, you can actually sometimes get a thousand tickets instead. So that's actually the way out, but we're going to skip this door for now and come back to it. Because I want to show you some other stuff. Here we've got two teddy bears on a date, eating some fish. Uh, another green spiral. What's this one? A toilet with a trap. I think that's a trap. No, there's not a trap here actually. There is a first aid box though, if you need it. So... In this next one, this one's a bit weird. Oh god, hello. There's a flamer trap, firstly when you open the door, so make sure you disarm that. 
and this guy is usually stand this mannequin's usually standing up holding that knife. And then there's this skeleton who's just doing the weirdest pose I've ever seen in my life in the shower. Which is kind of kind of strange. <laughs> What's in the next room? This is my favourite room, so obviously you're like, okay, yeah, this is the way to go. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> and you can actually see there's a first aid kit there. It looks like it looks like a really long hallway, doesn't it? But then you get really close up to it and you're like, oh no, it's not. <laughs> That's just such a good idea. Um, now there's a lovely sight. So as you can see, this guy is obviously a bit of a psycho because he said that's a lovely sight. A lot of these rooms are trapped by the way, but um, I'm not setting them off because I've got the sneak skill. This area, which has been completely destroyed for some reason, usually has um, lots of teddy bears sitting around the table and there's tons of pre-war money on it. I think it's all on the floor here, yeah. But there's a good few hundred pre-war dollars here that you can pick up. And it's kind of like some teddies having a game of poker. In this room, that's the way, way we came. Okay, so let's go out. It's a red door. Here we go. This is where we're meant to be going. So as you can see, this is the chain door. That leads us back to the entrance. But there's this other door we haven't gone up yet. So let's go up here and see if we can find our masked person who is wearing that top hat. This is where he was standing, looking at us over that conveyor belt. Sorry, already gone, little raider. Don't worry, I've still got plenty of surprises in store for you. Interesting, okay. So what we can do here is we can pick up the Nuka recipe, a unique recipe Excellent. that's going to allow us to craft a new Nuka Cola. And also we have the Funhouse control system. Now the controls themselves are not that interesting, but what is interesting is the user logs. Living in the Funhouse. After the crew divided up the park for living accommodations, Bradley is over the moon. We get to live in the Funhouse. It's a ton of room, but every memory I have of this place involves somebody getting nauseous from the spinning. I'm glad he's happy about it at least. It's been far too long since I saw a smile like that on his face. I don't think he's even realised it yet, but with everything that's been going on, he would have graduated high school last month. I know it's selfish, but part of me is glad that the attack happened when it did, so I can have my son here, safe with me. Out of the storm woke up to find that Bradley had gone out in a radiation storm. He said he couldn't take living like this, and if the radiation was going to kill us, he'd rather die quickly. I don't know if he'll ever realise how much it hurt me to hear him say that. Luckily the storm doesn't seem to have hurt him at all. In fact, that ankle he sprained messing around in the spinning room last week seems to have instantly healed. Maybe whatever mutation the initial storms gave us somehow made us immune to radiation. Thank goodness for that. Oh, okay, I can see where this is going snapped during the attack. Something snapped in me during the last attack on Kitty Kingdom. Maybe it's the pent up rage from Bradley leaving, but during the attack I lost it and bit into the neck of one of the attackers. At least, that's what they tell me. I don't remember, it's all hazy after the attack started. God and I'm so hungry suddenly. I've probably eaten 12 potatoes today, but I can't seem to shake it. Damn it, why am I so hungry? What the- Lots of numbers and stuff. This new group is different. I haven't been in here in years, not since Herman changed. This terminal is still signed under his name. I can't even remember how long it's been since he was able to have a conversation. Maybe Rachel is right about needing to leave to find a cure for the affliction. Anyway, that new group of psychos that moved into Nukatown, USA is clearly different from the last one, stronger and way more aggressive. They pushed us all the way back to the funhouse, which I haven't had to go into for years. I better start getting this place ready as a fallback again. It doesn't seem like those gangs are going to be dissuaded easily. I just hope that our defences can hold them off long enough to find a cure. So Herman Benson has quite clearly turned into a ghoul and those entries we read were basically about the slow transition of that taking place and how his life changed. And I'm assuming that the last entry is however from the owner of this wacky place that we saw through this glass here. And rather interestingly he seems to give away the fact that Herman 
is still alive. Obviously no longer human, which is evidenced by the fact that he can no longer sustain a conversation. This leads me on to my last point. What if the reason the ghouls have been painted is obviously not to fit in with the wacky kitty kingdom that I first thought they might have been, but to merely mark them as a friend? It sounds like the current owner of Kitty Kingdom is now keeping the ghouls like pets. And then there's a part about Rachel going off to find a cure that suggests the owner of Kitty Kingdom still has hopes that he can cure his ghoul friends and turn them back into humans. Which is really quite sad actually because obviously we know this isn't possible. And also there's the fact that I was killing his friends all this time. This is really quite a twisted place. But there you have it, the legend of the funhouse. But the legend is only half complete and we must still go on to solve the puzzle of, of what really happened here. Check out the description below for my link to the next video guide where we'll explore just that. But if you did enjoy the video guys please do give it a thumbs up and of course you can also subscribe to the channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And you can find the links for that down in the description below. And if you follow me there you'll be able to stay up to date with the latest daily guides for Fallout 4. Thanks again for watching guys. My name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye and have a fantastic day.